than anything medicine. So now we are continuing with HDL lipoprotein. So what is the source of HDL lipoprotein? First of all, the source of HDL lipoprotein, unlike Hyalmicron and VLDL, here is liver and intestine. So so it's gonna it's gonna be secreted by these two organs, intestine and liver. After its secretion and releasing up into the blood, it will it will have a discoidal shape. So you, so we will call it discoidal. HDL and it will it will be with a thick cortex and apoprotein A1 a thick cortex but remember the main component of this thick cortex is lecithin lecithin it's very important you will see why now so the main phospholipid is lecithin in this thick cortex and the shape is discoidal, remember. So, while it's moving in the blood, when it reaches the capillary beds and of extra hematic tissues, there will be in extra hematic tissues an ABCB1 receptor, which is called ATB binding cassette B1 receptor, which is keeping throwing off uh, cholesterol molecules toward HDL. So, Whenever HDL have a, uh, uptake the cholesterol molecule, this reaction done by l enzyme, which is promoted by apoprotein A1. So, this l work by this uh, formula. It will uptake the acyl. What, what, is, what is the full spelling of l -cat? Lecithin cholesterol acyl transferase. Lecithin cholesterol acyl transferase. So it will take acyl group from lecithin and associate it with cholesterol molecule. And then will result, uh, the result of this uh, reaction will be lysolecithin and cholesterol ester. Cholesterol ester. Uh, sorry. So. Lysolysin and cholesterol ester, but remember, I think whenever there is uh, lysolysin formation, this lysolysin will be released into the blood and will not be uh, attached uh, to the cortex and will not be, it will not keep uh, as a part of the cortex. So the cortex will become thinner with the time, and the four and the contact, the, the content will be uh, more with the time. So this. Uh, HDL here will be a spherical HDL, spherical HDL, which is because of filling of uh, cholesterol, and the, 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 the cortex, remember, it will be a thinner cortex. So this HDL we call it HDL3. Now remember one thing: when we discussed hyalomicron and VLDL, we were seeing that HDL is a good. Uh, is a good particle because it was throwing off some able proteins and at the, at the same time at the same time we were saying also that there was some uh, reactions of uh, switching off triacylglycerides and cholesterol HDL was throwing off cholesterol toward uh, chylomicron and VLDL and taking off instead triacylglycerides so the result is HDL2. So what is HDL2? HDL2 is same with HDL3 but with additional uh, additional amount of triacylglycerides, some amount of triacylglycerides and less cholesterol than HDL3. So um, after that, what is the fate of HDL2? The fate of HDL2 that it may go under three ways. First way that it may meet hepatic lipase enzyme in the liver. Same hepatic lipase which was uh, hydrolyzed the VLDL remnant molecule, which is intermediate density lipoprotein. So it will hydrolyze all triacylglycerides in HDL form, and then HDL will turn into HDL3. And HDL3 may continue in this cycle, repeating cycle. So, this is one fate. 
Another field that it may, it may go under endocytosis by a receptor called scavenger receptor B1. Remember that we say in first lecture that uh, of first lecture about chimicron, we say that some uh, some receptors may recognize only some specific uh, lipoproteins. So these scavenger receptors can recognize only HDL lipoproteins and it, it's present on macrophage and liver. So, uh, sorry, not macrophage. It's present in liver and another tissues. So, uh, it, HDL2 can, HDL2 form can be uptaken by the liver completely. So this is one, so this is the second fate. And the third fate that maybe HDL2 can be in, uh, uptaken by the liver completely except the phospholipids and a protein A1. So in this third phase, only the cholesterol and triacylglycerides. If what 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 uh, what what given on here, uh, what rest here, uh, will be uptaken by the liver. So not just the content will be thrown into the liver, and the result is just the the remaining phospholipids and a protein. And this form can act like this form. And we call this form uh, active form actually. This is active form of HDL because it will act like this even more. It will, this form is full of like, like full of phospholipid only. Yes, remaining phospholipid. So it will start accumulating more and more HDL uh, cholesterol and will pass in this cycle. Same with this molecule, this colloidal molecule. Another. So. The clinical points here in this picture, in this drawing, that LCAT may, may be deficient with some patient. Maybe uh, mostly will be congenital. So, uh, congenital LCAT deficiency may be complete deficient, deficiency uh, of action or maybe just deficient toward HDL. So, if it's deficient toward HDL, we will call this disease fish eye disease because the fish eye, the, uh, the eyes of the patient will look like fish. If it's completely function, if it's uh, completely deficient functional, uh, deficient function, so we will call this disease alcat deficiency, just familial alcat deficiency. How how we will, and this boy, and this disease is is targeted by USMLA exams. But how we will know in the question that. They are, they are meaning uh, alcohol deficiency. In this question, in this, uh, in this uh, disease specifically, there will be a high content of lysolecithin. Lysolecithin. A high content of, a high content of lecithin, sorry. A high content of lecithin. Why? Because there's no alcohol function. And there is no, uh, Formation of lysolecithin and lysolecithin will be accumulate and accumulate into into the in the blood and it will become uh, it will reach high level. So in the question, if they give you uh, like the patient after lab laboratory test will detect high level of lysolecithin, you may think about LCAT disease, LCAT deficiency. Another disease, interesting disease, which is very rare, very rarely but interesting. Tangier disease. Tangier disease. Some patients born without this uh, transporter, which is keeping on throwing off cholesterol molecules with using of ATP. Uh, and HDL, uh, cholesterol molecules will be accumulated inside the tissue. No, there's no transporter to throw off toward the blood, to push the cholesterol toward the blood. So, Cholesterol will accumulate inside the tissues, and there will be specific signs like eye opacity, like uh, orange color of uh, skin and throat. So we may come for these diseases, uh, for these diseases in future for more details. Just for now, this is uh, all about uh, HDL. Thank you.